All right. <clears throat> After you, mate. No worries. Hello, my guy. How was your nap? It was actually bad. I just couldn't sleep. Me too, dude. I think I might have been too excited to start this. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Oh, me too. So, should we meet up anyway? I'm... Yeah. Where am I? Oh, I'm like on the other side, on, on the west. Like D8, D6. Do you have any spare cloth? I need like 10 to get a bow. Ooh. Oh, shit. You hit me! Ah, <laughs> uh, dude right in front. Yep. He's got a bow. Oh, that's the dude. That's the that's the guy that just recycled. Hmm, no, I just heard two people shooting bows. These, guys, these bow guys are fighting each other, man. Maybe we should actually get involved. One's down. Come grab his bow. Yeah, I did. Oh, there's a crossy guy here. Well, this bow guy's fighting. Guns. Yeah, this bow guy's down. All right, crossy guys, bows here. Bows here. Tagged him. Oh shit, dude. We're in. Get in. Get in. Uh, it's actually, it's not too far from where I was thinking of building, hey? Like down, we just have to run like down past outpost. But that should be a relatively safe run. I guess it depends if you want to like eventually take chopper and stuff. Yeah, well, like, no. We, it, it, bruh, <laughs> it's up to you, like, um. I wish you would make some decisions. Oh, dude, there's a great run here, dude. There's so many nakies. <laughs> There's so many, dude. Oh shit, I just got a jackhammer, dude. You know what I got? What did you get? A miner's hat. Oh, I told you yeah. <laughs> Over on that island where I built on the solo wipe. That's pretty good for farming. We could just run there. Do you just want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. We had been lucky and came across a jackhammer in a red crate during our first roam from base. And there was an island close by that likely wouldn't be too populated as it was isolated from any rad towns. It was the perfect opportunity to farm up quickly with the jackhammer. So perfect in fact that we even set up a small farm base on the island as well. You know who, one, actually told me that when I was a young boy playing sports? And he was like, yeah, he was like, fucking, you gotta learn how to lose before you know how to win. Like, that's just the way it is. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Thousand stone is gonna get you like, almost more than three times that. So okay, you get like... I'll just go fuck <laughs> <Get up> myself. <laughs> Oh, just got hit. Yep. Just gonna jackhammer him. <laughs> oh, you got him too. Yeah, just chopped him. The farm runs had gone really smoothly. 
We were absolutely loaded with resources and used the excess stone to trade for wood at the outpost. After that we honeycombed the base and had a break. The plan of attack was to do some component runs and level up our workbench. Please don't sit there. <laughs> How's the driving? Impeccable. Yeah. See, I didn't realize you get a bunch of high qual from doing the um, deep sea diving stuff. Hmm. Better check it. Bruh. Whoa. Ah, I got a sword. Nice. Is that a chicken? <laughs> oh no, I got the bird, damn it! I got it, I got it. <laughs> the component runs were also a great success. They granted us enough scrap to craft a tier 2 workbench, which in turn allowed us to make a flamethrower. There was a decent sized base close by that had a wooden roof. So after doing some more base upgrades, we went to check it out. I was thinking that base like that we shot the door out of, I think if you still got a wood roof we could flame right in through the top. Yep. You're gonna have to keep a look out. <laughs> uh no his roof is uh you have to do the wall because his roof is stone. I'm just gonna go through the middle, alright? Yeah, bro. That's too high. Was in the face. Oh, we're in. Oh. Oh. We're in, but there's a flame turret. <laughs> ah. I don't know if there's anything in it though. But we're in, like, we got everything. Even TC. Oh, I don't know if there's anything in this thing. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Kind of trap myself. Can't get up the ladder. How do you, <laughs> bro? <laughs> what do you I, mean? I can. I can never get up the freaking ladder. I can never do it. You always seem to do it, but I can never. Are you, where are you? Are you on the roof, roof? Nah, I'm not on the roof. I'm on the ground still. Oh, I go up the ladder. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh my could you oh. not, could you not get up the ladder or I can't get up the freaking ladder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish I was out there watching. Uh, so hard, bro. It's actually impossible. This game's stupid. So I'm building a building plan. This game's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even come out to like, to help you. So while Yuno battled the ladder outside, I faced my own battles with this flame turret that stood between us and a successful raid. But I had a few tricks up my sleeve. Oh wait. I jumped onto the <laughs> flame turret. I don't know if it's out or if it just missed me. I'm gonna try and chop it to death. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, this freaking lot I mean, I don't know why my character can't grab onto it. <laughs> this game! This game! <laughs> I can't. I actually, I actually can't. I can't. Are you holding forwards? Yes. I'm jumping high enough, am I not? <laughs> You're definitely pressing, like, 
hold forwards. Bro. There you go. Yeah, now what? And then jump. Oh, I actually did it. I'm a god. <laughs> <laughs> so what you do is you shoot like on top of the... So if you reload the insin. And then you shoot it on top of the TC. That wasn't too bad, they had some resources. Yeah. In classic Harveys and Uno fashion, the raid went off without a hitch, and there actually ended up being some decent resources in the tool cupboard. So once we were back at base, we crafted some semi-auto rifles, and went to check out a nearby base. These guys have been sitting on their roof quite a bit, and now that we could craft ladders also, the plan was to try and kill them and ladder up to snag their loot. This guy's shooting me Tag from the him, roof. got him, got him. The roof guy? Nah, not roof guy. The dude out of the rocks. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Is that you still shooting? Yep. Tag the dude on the roof like twice. I wouldn't mind, like... I'm just gonna go quickly craft a ladder so that if we kill that guy on the roof we can actually get up and loot him. Shot him again. Do it. Oh, there's a loot boxes, man. I'm just gonna quickly have a look. Oh, he's dead too. We just can't get locked in, is the only thing. Chop that bed. Yeah. Hold on, I'll stay on top. Uh, yeah, true. I'm just gonna get rid of one of those ladders from the top. There's so much stuff here. Fuck. Um. Dead. Grab his double barrel. Came up with another Thompson and another double barrel. <laughs> Fuck. You're a dumb dog. All right, should we get out of it? Yeah, let's go. I think I think I got everything. All right, the good stuff. Swayze baby. <laughs> Uh, suck a dick, Swayze, baby. Oh, that was so good. Man, I got like another flamethrower. Uh, we got like That's two so Thompsons. Good. We got. Th How many uh, double barrels did you get? I only got one. Yeah, so we got three, three double uh, barrels, two, revol uh, two revolvers, <laughs> two rad, rad suits. Heck yeah. Yeah, boy. Winning. <laughs> <laughs> After that, you know, had to jump off for a bit, so I was running solo.
Let's go. Sake, dude. Oh, hello. Wonder what their covers like. <laughs> what? Oh my god, dude. I didn't bring a weapon. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Far out, man. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Okay, let's... Uh Kidding me, dude? Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Check your privilege. Far out, dude. There's like nine nine thousand sulfur. Bruh. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> oh man, that is such a fuck up on their part like that's insane that's actually insane man who needs to raid when you can just build into people's compounds <laughs> you know he's gonna be like what the fuck
<laughs> Let me get him in party chat. Can you explain to me what the fuck just happened? How did you just have like a whole stash of metal in your inventory? What happened? What? Yeah, but like, how do you have a full inventory? I'm confused. Like, how did you? You dropped over ten thousand wood and fifty so far, and then I looked on your body. What do you mean? You know was clearly shocked by what had just transpired, and he had to jump off again. So I went for another solo roam, looking for some PvP. Get out of here. Oh. Oh, he's looking at me. Good. Let's go to depot and come back. Nice. Nice. Man, we're rolling. Jeez, I thought I killed him.
It's gonna be dead. Oh shit. I'm coming back with a scuba kit. Can't see shit. Fucking robbed. <laughs> Absolutely robbed, fellas. And uh, see if I can... I think there might have been another body there. I don't know. Because I reckon I killed the first guy straight off the bat. I, I thought there was only two, but I might have killed the first guy with a headshot, body shot. And then I think I might have killed one other guy a bit further out in the water, but I can't find him. Hell yeah, the scuba mission. <laughs> the scuba expedition. Oh, it's so slow without flippers. Oh my god, they're going again. How's he not down, man? How's he not down? Oh my god, he's sitting in his shop. Shop front, just like standing here looking at me with a double barrel. Now you guys hadn't met this team yet, it was the base who'd built not far south from us on the water's edge, and most times that we went to roam in that direction, they'd take a few shots at us and then retreat behind the safety of their shop front from which they would taunt us. But they were fairly innocent, and it was kind of funny to be honest. We had no intentions of raiding them. The plan at this stage was to raid the compound base that I'd built into earlier. So we were over that way, scouting out the base to solidify our plan of attack. Since they hadn't finished their honeycombing, we'd be able to build in and C4 straight through their inner walls. It was a done deal. We'd finally decided who we'd raid this wipe. So we thought. I think this would be an easier raid too, but like easier once we get past the wall and the turret. Yeah. But could end really badly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got a pretty good track record, so... Alright, I might run back to base, dude. If you can guess exactly how many pumpkins I have, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Actually. Yeah. You get one guess. What else are gonna be? 62. <laughs> you just got <laughs> fucking mauled by <laughs> two boars at the same time. Oh shit! Oh man, we're getting raided. No way. Wait. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> These guys. <laughs> they just broke it. They haven't raided us. They're f like. Knocked our turret, knocked our front gate down, and fucking destroyed our furnaces and stuff. Ah, yeah, no, nah, that's it. That that makes our decision really easy. <laughs> These guys are pests, man. <laughs> fucking pests. That's unacceptable. It's kind of funny, but it's unacceptable. They're so dead. They're done. Let's stick a fork in them. Uh, yep. While we were away from the base, Solomon and his mates had burnt their way into our compound and destroyed our large furnaces and oil refinery. But who was Solomon, you might ask? Well, it was none other than our friendly, 
harmless neighbors. Remember the ones who we had no intention of raiding? But there was no way that we could let this disrespect slide, so we raided them almost immediately. Yep. Yeah, you can upgrade. He's in there. Mm-hmm. Oh god, alright, are we just gonna <laughs> start this? Should we do a some sort of emote? Like move out. He doesn't know. One's already on a bag timer. You grab some more C4, dude. Yeah. Just grab the rest of it. Might be the TC. Yep. Yeah, we got TC. Yep. It's not. It's not a. Uh, <laughs> doesn't have a lock on it. That's a doggo. What? Oh, 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 oh. That dog's like. Oh, what am I seeing? Oh. The bullets. Fuck oh, off. The bullet's going through him. Oh, I'm clipping that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna become some good content. Look at the metal frags, holy shit. Damn. Okay, we get it. There's all these. Oh man, look at all these boxes on the ground. Oh, we got another door oh, here. Small Some ammo. Random shit. Ooh, the other one's on the other side though. Oh my god, look at the wood. <laughs> oh shit. 
Oh, what do we got? Shit, shit. 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 <laughs> I'm burning. All in all, for an impromptu raid, it was pretty decent, and we had a good time doing it. But I'm gonna be straight with you guys. Between this raid and the next day's footage, I recorded and edited this video, and, like a noob, I saved the files to the same location on my PC, so when I'd finally finished editing this video and deleted some files to make space to continue recording this wipe, I also deleted a few hours of footage from this current wipe. And I'm sure you can guess what happened during those few hours of footage. Yep, we were offline raided. Was I sad? Man, I was absolutely, completely over the freaking moon. You see, when you play a lot of solo Rust, you learn things that most other players don't pick up. The nitty gritty details that allow a solo or even a duo team to survive in this harsh world. Now those of you with a keen eye may have picked up on this earlier in the video. The weird foundation layout, the tweak floor when our TC was almost completely filled with resources. Yeah, this was a bunker base. One of the sneakiest bunker base designs that you will ever see. Borderline unethical at that. But all I can tell you is that for now, this wipe was far from over. We had some business to attend to. The guy that raided us, his name was D Drastic. And we knew where he lived. For undisclosed reasons, I didn't show you how we discovered his base earlier on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he couldn't get in. <laughs> uh, I'm going in. Oh, uh, you going in? Oh, uh, no, dude. Crap right there. Fuck. Yeah, you can see why I didn't show you that. But anyway, we recovered four entire large crates worth of loot from our secret bunker base, which included all of the explosive ammo we'd acquired from that raid earlier on. And we headed right over to D Drastic's base to set things straight. That's for the shoddy oh, trap. There's a shoddy trap. Alright, it's dead. I'm gonna need in because of the chopper. Yeah, it's all good. He left his um garage door open. Maybe just keep an eye out though, like from out to snap. Could you actually got quite a few rounds too. Destroy his bag, maybe. Oh, he's there, he's there with the pumpy. We got everything. I'm just gonna clear his TC. Yeah. The TC. 
Oh, he's got a he's got an M three nine MP five. Oh yeah. Oh, someone just late. died. Someone just died by chopper. <laughs> he's got a fair few rounds. Doesn't really have any like explosives or anything, though, does he? So all in all, this was a really enjoyable wipe. We dealt some revenge on a few furnace chopping shopfront sitters, successfully survived an offline raid due to an epic bunker base design, and used said bunker base loot to do some raiding of our own. It was time to call it a day. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and drop me a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. Take it easy guys, I'll see you soon.